go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Morning. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. How are you? Fine. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, do you think... Do you worry... Do you worry that maybe we've lost morning, our way? Arthur. How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. <laughs> it, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I... I, I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. <sighs> Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. Behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat>
Well, good morning. Another new market for you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, indeed. And away from Valentine. Not that far away. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Be well. Let's go, boy. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. Relax. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morton. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, please leave. <laughs> you Do must be nervous being this believe. close to the water. People's oh, don't hungry. you start. <laughs> I was just looking out for you. I've been working, you damn fool. That's why I'm in this state. So I managed to get back into Valentine and collect on those sheep. What? That wasn't too smart. It was fun. I'll put your share in your wallet. Okay. Thanks. Morning. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Well, I should get back to it. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? 
I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. England's finest. <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The true horse, don't it? What? Hey, get up. What's going on? Ah, I've forgotten what it was now. You're interrupting my beauty rest. What are you doing? Just whatever. Hi. Hey, folks. Everything okay? Yeah. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. Hey, fellas. The Lord just keeps testing me. ¿Cómo está todo? Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Anyway, I won't disturb you. We'll just go on.
You're somewhere you shouldn't be. You need to leave right, here Dan. right now. Make your peace. One day soon, someone's going to put a...
Easy, easy. Please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweatin' half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Woo! <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talked 
to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Yeah. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way to stick. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. Yeah. You don't seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. How are you? Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Mind your business. I tried one of them hair Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I owned got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. 
about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Lady, now you got your whip! You okay there, Sadie? We're good here, Arthur. I shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. Are you coming then? Probably shouldn't linger here too long. What are you doing? We should get out of here.
No, past those veins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! Get up. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Never gonna get there at this place. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Braiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. There we go. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Yep. Hello, Arthur. Arthur. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah. It'll do for now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. I guess. Miss Jones? Um... <clears throat> I'm having a baby, miss. Oh! Right here. Right now. The cheek on you, girl. Why? Because I'll take your bullying? <laughs> if it's you as feeds me, then I'll take your nonsense. Until then, shut up. You better watch yourself, You seem preoccupied. Oh, I will. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hello. You good there? Of course. Why? Well, you always are. You be good. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Raven. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. And fine conversation. Why you feel the need to talk so much? And why you feel the need for silence? I guess I prefer people when I don't have to listen to me. Hey there. Hey. You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Talk to you later. Hey, 
evening, Arthur. Arthur? You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, then. Arthur! Welcome back. Yeah. You move and I'll kill you. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. 
We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, man. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning for the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right! Come on, we're losing them! 
Will you relax? We're not losing them. Shit. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Goddamn cowards hide behind that. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave them. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Get closer. Closer. Get us alongside it. Now he's throwing bottles, the low-down bastard. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? You cop bastard! I didn't do nothing! Go to hell! Get the hell off! Come on, Mr. Callahan! I'm relying on you! You're only making it worse! Don't kill him. 
you sure? Sadly so. I'm right out here if you need me. Oh! Come on! Tempting as it might be, do not kill him! Who's talking now? Huh? Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We'll take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go, you are a natural. All right. Boy. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. 
See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. You know, going out of the whorehouse again. Making up the rules as we go along. I had it with this damn place. Gentlemen, follow me. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies, I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chalonis. What a terrible thought. Ah. Hey. Careful. <laughs> this is the spot. Down to the left there. Coming past. Yeah, okay. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Passing you. Yes, over there on the shore. Ah, 
I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Huh? Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. But what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like... A sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but... You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon. With one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite. Got a bite. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. Arthur, you have to catch one at least. Something's nibbling. Got one! Ah, I should have had that one. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. <laughs> hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint-Denis. Fifty-pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Ha! Got ya! Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe twenty. Twenty-one. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and 
Out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, tell I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Arthur's got a bite. Now reel him in, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Got a nibble there, Arthur. You hooked him. Well done. See, you don't kill everything. Right there, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. Nicely done, Arthur. Keeping that one, eh? That's something biting, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur.
You're really getting the hang of this. Yeah, that's a keeper. There you go. That's a nice one. That'll grill up nice. Not bad, Archer. Holding out for a bigger one, are you?
Oh, worth keeping that one. Are you bored already, Arthur? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. <coughs> now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. <laughs> Give me some, she says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. We mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we have too much fun. Indeed not. I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine.
This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Gonna be fine, Dutch. Oh, that was fun today. <laughs> you didn't have to chase that train. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Arthur. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. All right, you know, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Hi, I'm Morgan. Hey there, Jack. No, thank you. I like to eat fish and swim. I could watch Dutch hat. Big fancy thing it was. It was a greedy bugger. And hungry too. I hadn't eaten in three days. So I thought to myself, I'll rob this pair of bastards. So I followed him out of the bar. It was a dark night. I fallen down this alleyway. As I pulled out me gun to threaten him with imminent death. He just stood there laughing at me. I'm not fool. I felt like a six-year-old. Go ahead, they says. Shoot us. So I did. Bang, bang, bang! How are you? Button. Hey. The bastards are spotting me at the bar and taking the bullets out of me gun. So I stood there laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. And that, of course, was that. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. It's just for now. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. Gentlemen. Hey, Arthur. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Anyway, you know what to do. Sounds good. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. Lenny. Somewhere between crappy and crap. Okay, I'll call Mrs. Adler? Oh, Dodge. Miss O'Shea. Yeah. 